Welcome back to another episode of the High Altitude Training Institute. My name is Greg Riverdio, and this is week 16 of the Advanced Half Marathon Training Plan. If you haven't watched the introduction video, I highly recommend that you do so. That video will give you information about three separate things. The first one is which of these training plans should you be following? We have a beginners, we have an intermediate, and we have an advanced training plan. The second thing is figuring out where you should be starting your training in these videos. This is a 20 week program, but maybe all you need is 16 weeks. So go on the website and figure out where you should be starting this plan. And finally, the last thing that it will do is help you with the pace. Which pace should you be doing on your easy run? Which pace should you be doing on your long run, on your tempo run, and all of that. That's all gonna be in the introduction video. So go ahead and check it out. The link will be in the description below. The topic that I wanna discuss this week is two different types of paces that you will see during this week's of training. The first one is a repetition pace, and the other one is a threshold pace. Now, if we look at this run intensity chart, you will see that your easy run is obviously the easiest that you can do. Same for your long run. And then we have the marathon pace. And then we have what I want to talk about, which is the threshold pace. Now, that threshold pace is going to be about 88 to 92% of your maximum heart rate. The next one will be interval. We're not going to do any interval this week, or we're not going to do any hard workout this, week's, uh, this week either. And the next one is going to be our repetition pace, which is pretty much 100% of your maximum heart rate. We're going to do that for a fairly short amount of time, as you can see in some of this week's workouts. Now, the important part about these paces is that you can see there is a whole gamut of different paces that we will follow during this entire training plan. So you really want to make sure that you're going to stick with these paces and not anything slower or anything faster. Each of these paces has been designed so that you can get your heart rate to a very specific location and that you're working a very specific part of your body. Now let's take a look at this week's training plan. This week we're starting phase two. This is week five out of 20 if you're doing the entire 20 weeks of training. And this is 16 weeks until race day. Total mileage is gonna be 42 miles. And this week we're introducing some new different types of workouts. On Tuesdays and Friday, we will have a special kind of workout which is called a quality workout. Now, your easy run will be on Monday. And on Tuesday, we're gonna do four sets of a very special type of repetition run, which is one of my favorite, but also one that hurts quite a bit. So the way this is gonna work is we're gonna do four sets of the following. 200 meters at repetition pace, followed by 200 meters of jog. That's a full lap around the track. And then 200 meters at repetition pace again, followed by 400 meters of jog, that's a lap and a half. And then 400 meters of repetition, followed by 200 meters of jog. Again, that's another lap and a half. Now, by the time you're done with this, you're gonna repeat it again four times. That's gonna be a total of three and a half miles, and that includes some uh, warm up and cool down in there for you. Now obviously this workout is gonna be a lot easier to be performed if you're on a track. Then you can use the different laps to count how many um, meters you've done and also to keep track of your timing. Now if you are not sure how fast you need to run these workouts, you need to go take a look at the introduction video that's gonna give you a link so you can go and download the uh, file that's gonna give you the pace at which you should be running all of these workouts based on your goal pace for the race. On Thursday, we're going to do another easy miles. Um, Wednesday, we're going to do a rest day. And then on Friday, we're going to be doing a run at threshold pace. We call it the T pace. It's going to be six times one mile at threshold pace, followed by one mile, well, one minute of rest after each one mile repetition. And so you're going to do one mile at T pace and then one mile rest. Now that rest is not a jog rest like it was on Tuesday. This rest is going to be a standing rest. So we'll be standing on the side of the road or on the side of the track 
waiting for one minute and then going out again. Now, some of you may ask why we're we doing standing rest and not jog rest. Well, the standing rest is going to build what we call lactic acid in your legs. And as you start running again, your legs are going to feel nice and heavy and it's going to teach your body how to flush that lactic acid, which is something that you're going to get during race day. So the more we can teach and train our body to flush that lactic acid, the better off we're going to be during race day. Now you notice that this run is six times one mile. The total mileage is eight miles. That's because you have one mile of warm up followed by one mile of cool down right afterwards. On Saturday, we're going to do an easy run, and then on Sunday, we're going to go out and do our long run of 11 miles. Now, you'll notice that this week is um, getting a little bit more intense, and that's really the, um, the, what's going to happen a lot with this advanced training plan. Uh, this is really a training plan for people that are very solid about their running and very serious and really want to make progress. If you feel like this is too much, at any time you can go and back down to go to the intermediate training plan. During the same week, you'll get a lighter week and you'll be able to follow from there. So again, uh, if you feel like running six days a week is too much for you, just downgrade to the intermediate training plan and you'll be just fine. As always, please give us a like, leave us a comment if you have any question, and don't forget to subscribe. We have a lot more videos coming up for you in the near future. If you want more information about the High Altitude Training Institute and what we do, please go ahead and visit www.altitude.run. You'll find that we do offer coaching, and we also offer a custom training plan for other distances. And finally, we offer summer running camps at high altitude in the summer in Arizona. Join us, find out more information, and we will see you next week. Have a great week of training.